Sunday morning worshipers met with a rude surprise as thieves break into several cars while the church service was going on. Fox News' Patrick Clark talks to the Jefferson County pastor of the church and hears his message to the suspects. For those who were willing to get up early for the 7.45 a.m. service and brave the windy start to the day, they were met with a challenge. During our uh, 745 service, uh, we had seven cars. So I got this word during the service that uh, seven cars had been uh, vandalized. The windows had been smashed and the glove boxes had been rifled through. Pastor Jeremy Schultz believes thieves broke into vehicles around 8 a.m. while churchgoers were participating in the morning service. Seven vehicles had their windows broken or smashed and items stolen. You mark these uh, times and moments and what happens for what they are. You know, you don't, you don't have to um, get overly anxious. I mean, again, our people were protected and safe. That's the bottom line. You know, these cars, the windows were smashed, the uh, glove boxes were rifled through. Um, there was very minimal property that was even lost. So we're very, very thankful for that. I mean, I think as people of faith in Jesus, we can take these moments in stride and surround those. It's a good reminder to surround ourselves with those less fortunate and uh, to provide for those that have true needs. The suspect allegedly fled in a silver hatchback with a decal on one of the side doors. Arnold police are investigating. Meanwhile, the message inside St. John Lutheran Church off Jeffco Boulevard, overcoming discouragement. And Pastor Schultz's message? I think the message would be one of, um, you know, don't do such things, number one. And uh, I do hope that the police find them. But, uh, but beyond that then, I mean, um, you know, turn to the Lord. I mean, you don't, you don't have to live a life like that. I mean, honestly, if there's a need, I mean, we would seek to support you and, and help you to a better way of life. Off Jeffco Boulevard in Arnold, Patrick Clark, Fox 2 News.